I was an athlete myself, mainly a high jumper, and I had the opportunity to go to America on a scholarship. And when I studied over there, I got into the physiotherapy education. Probably most enjoyable as a physiotherapist is to be able to make people more active, uh, to get people back into the role and to, to help them um, by using means of your hands and exercise. There's more focus on the basic science subjects in the first year of the course, really the, the fundamentals that students need to understand in order to be able to then move into the clinical aspects. So things like physics, chemistry, anatomy, physiology and biomechanics are introduced in first year. The students really enjoy a lot of the, the practical components uh, that they get to experience. Not only the practical work they do on the each other in a university but also the practical education when they go out to hospitals and clinics and get to actually practice uh, on patients. We have 10 hospitals and we have 14 practice tutors throughout the country and so the students go out in groups of three or more and they will be supervised um, under the supervision of the tutor but they also then have senior physiotherapists that they work with on a day-to-day -day basis and they see all of the potential patients that are on a list that that senior might carry. The profession has changed a lot over the last 20 years. There's been a major shift from it being more of a skills-based profession in the 80s when I would have qualified to now being very much a science-based um, profession. And more and more physiotherapists are undertaking research up to doctoral level and really informing the development of their own profession. We have the movement analysis of laboratory, uh, which uh, is a really well equipped a lab for us to do research in terms of motion capture. We use this equipment uh, in, in the laboratory to, to gain better understanding of how people move uh, and how uh, muscles work and so on in different conditions of injury. Uh, so we can apply that uh, into a better treatment and management of injuries. The Institute of Sport and Health here is a hub for the cross-fertilisation of this research and how we can develop and investigate some of the um, interventions that we then want to move on and investigate in the clinical setting. We have two um, back pain trials currently underway. Uh, the, the biggest one is called the SWIFT trial. So we're trying to find out is it more effective to continue to treat people as we normally do with a range of hands-on treatments and, ex and advice or should we treat people in a group class setting or should we teach them how to be more active um, so we're, we're using a walking program. Well I think that the, all, all over uh, in the western world the levels of activity has declined a lot recently and uh, I think the physiotherapists are at a, a perfect position to change this trend around to partake in that and to activate people more and to, to make exercise and physical activity part of the lifestyle. Being a physiotherapist you're always meeting people so you're always interacting with people trying to help you know um, somebody who's had something awful happen to them or you know something that's made them their lives very difficult so you know it's great when you can actually achieve something with somebody and get them up out of bed mo mobilizing again or walking again after surgery and getting somebody home. It's a very dynamic, um, interesting job and it's constantly evolving and in the time I've been in the profession there have been huge changes in the way patients are being treated and in the technology that we have and the information that we have to um, inform how we work. So I think it's just one of those professions that's really interesting and it's a very exciting time to be in the profession.